guys, welcome back to Gloss and Sparkle. So what I have for you today is a little review on a company that is a monthly subscription service. And just to disclaim this whole thing in the beginning, no, as always, this video is not sponsored. I'm not being paid to say any positive things about this company. However, the items were sent free of charge for this review, so making sure you're aware of that. So the company that I want to talk to you guys a little bit about today is a company that I reviewed want to say a couple years ago now. I'm pretty sure it was that long ago. So they are called Lip Monthly. Now when I reviewed them last time, um, I was not impressed, I must say. I didn't really like many of the items that they sent and a few of the items that they sent were actually discontinued after I had looked them up and done a little bit of research on them, I realized that some of the items were no longer. So I was kind of like, why do I want these old products? So anyway, I was kind of skeptical about working with them again, but I thought to myself, that was a few years ago, maybe they've stepped up their game. And let me tell you, they really, really have. So basically, everything about the company has changed. They are so much better now. Their products are awesome and their packaging is awesome. Just all of these different things have come way up. So first of all, their packaging. Who doesn't want to receive a chartreuse bubble mailer in the mail? Like, <laughs> who wouldn't love this? It's like you go to your mailbox and it's like, phew, amazing. I love this. So this is the cute little bag that came this month. It says Lip Monthly on one side, it has cute little bows on the other side. I took everything out already, so. Okay, so I have a few things to say about all of the things that came this month. So I got four items this month. It didn't come with an info card. Normally it does. In the last few bags that I've received, they have had info cards, but this one didn't. So I'm not sure if that was like a mistake or they just didn't include one this month, I'm not sure. But the first item that I want to share with you guys is Be A Bombshell. Obviously you guys, you guys have heard of that before. And this is one of their lip glosses. Look at the color of this lip gloss. It's beautiful. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera as beautiful as it is in real life. It is a neon, neon pink lip gloss and it is so, so pretty. Here's my gripe with two of the items in here and it has nothing to do with the product and it actually doesn't really have anything to do with Lip Monthly either. It's not their bad. It's, you know, all on the people who create these products. I'm not going to share the names of the products with you, of these two next products with you, because I don't think they're appropriate. And I don't really know what that is. That's a new thing that is kind of becoming popular these days. I feel like NARS was the first people, I don't know, that I noticed to have inappropriate names for their products and I don't know. I don't agree with it, especially because you know that younger girls are getting these products and they're looking at the names and I just don't know. I'm not, I'm not about that. So the next item has the exact same problem. This is from the brand Estate. This is a pout stick. So again, this lipstick is very pretty. It's kind of like a burgundy color with brown tones to it. And even though the packaging seems a little bit flimsy, I like the fact that it's that powdery white. I don't know, I just think this is kind of a neat feeling packaging. But again, the name, no, no, we're not, I'm not featuring that. I don't think that's wholesome at all, so yeah. So that's it for the interesting named products. This next one is from a company called So Susan Cosmetics. Now I have used their products in the past. I wasn't like hugely hooked on them, but I didn't think that they were bad either. They have come out with liquid matte long wear liquid lipsticks. So I'm super excited for these. So it is in the shade Pumpkin. See, see how cute that name was, you know, and it goes with the product and it's not inappropriate, you know. So anyway, um, so anyway, this is really, really pretty. I'm super excited to use this. This is kind of like an unboxing. I don't really, I haven't tried any of these products out yet, so I'm not sure if this dries matte or if it stays glossy. I'm not really sure, but it says liquid matte, so I'm hoping that it is matte without being too drying because that's always the prog problem with liquid lipsticks. And I really like the color, though. It's beautiful for fall, and I think that late summer I could also get away with this. So I am super excited for this, and the packaging feels really, really nice. And the last product from this particular um, Lip Monthly bag is a Chapstick Hydration Lock. I've actually seen this at the store, and I was curious about it. So it has a day side and a night side. 
So the day side has 12 SPF 12 in it, and then the night has a little bit more oils and butters in it, so as to give you a little bit of moisturization extra at night. And it has a Shape Beauty Award winner. It was a Shape Beauty Award winner. So interesting. I am very curious to try this. So that was that bag. Now I have received monthly bags in the past and I'm not sure how these all got mixed up but I just wanted to share with you a few of the items from past bags that I've received that I have just been really impressed with. So first of all even though it is a lip product bag sometimes you're going to get items that don't pertain to lips like as a little extra bonus and this was one of the things I received it is the seven wonders Amazonian SIE anti-pollution mask Woo, that was a long long name <laughs> but I was really excited to receive a mask and a lip monthly bag I just thought that was really really nice as a little bonus so I was excited and I wanted to share it with you guys and then also sometimes the brands are higher end and I wanted to show you an example of that. This is something that I got in two separate bags. These were both from Cargo. This was an eyeshadow palette and this was a single eyeshadow. I just thought to get something from Cargo, like that's really, really good. So I just wanted to give you guys an idea of some of the high-end brands that you could receive in some of these bags. The last item that I wanted to share with you from a random lip monthly bag was... I think this was like the first lip monthly bag I ever received after being away from them for so long. This was from the brand Ola Neon and this was a liquid lipstick in the color Lavender Soul. Look at this color you guys. It's like a plum, a mix of a plum and a lilac with this gold uh, detailing. This stuff is so beautiful. I love the shade, I love the texture, the formula. It dries matte but it's not too drying. It's kind of like a satiny finish. I just love this shade. I, lo I would love to check out more from Ola Neon because they are really, really good. This was awesome. And it is free of parabens and gluten as well. So that's actually really, really good. So yes, I just wanted to share those with you. <laughs> so that was my updated review for Lip Monthly. I hope you enjoyed it. I will leave all the links you need in the down bar below so you can head on over there and check them out and see what they're all about. So I thank you so much for watching Gloss and Sparkle. If you like reviews like this, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and click that little notification bell if you haven't already. And as always, I thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!